Hi guys, hope you are feeling good and well. Welcome back to another episode of Get Inspired, Stay Inspired. As always, it's a joy to be doing a new episode for you and it always is a great feeling to know that you are joining me on this new episode and it's lovely to have you here. I'm always kind of bowled over by the company that I have been keeping recently and that includes you. So welcome. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. It's great to have you here. It's great for you to join me in your own way. And if you have been part of my journey so far and part of sort of listening or, or um, viewing the previous episodes, thank you for still being here. And um, yeah, you know, don't forget to um, smash the like button for me and, um, you know, put on your bell notifications so every new episode you will get notified about when the next episode has come out. So, hope you are feeling well, hope you're feeling good in your lives, hope everything is going well for you. I mean, I know it's been trying times of late and many of us have kind of had to reflect on, you know, the situation we've been in, um, you know, globally, I guess. But, you know, at the end of the day, we are starting to come through it and we are beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, if it's been hard for you, you know, I think what you can gain from this experience is, you know, whether you have support from others, whether you have, you know, family around you, whether you have, you know, people that are there to kind of sort of support you and um, help you get through these difficult times. And for those of you who are kind of, you know, joining me for the first time, just to let you know that I'm here for you in my own way. And um, yeah, I look forward to kind of engaging with you and supporting you. And this is really what my work is about, you know, kind of inspiring others, supporting others, empowering others from a soulful perspective, as many of you know already. Um, I love to come from a soulful place. And um, yeah, much of my work and my writings does too. So it's always a pleasure to share that with you. Now, this particular passage that I'm going to be sharing this week is one also based on empowerment. Now, don't forget that the, um, the passages that I'm working through are all very kind of empowering and they are a free package that you can get if you go to my website and you 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 know you join my list um you'll get 365 days worth of inspiring um knowledge and wisdom that will come in on a daily basis to you on your ipad or your phone or whatever um and that's you know that will come 365 days in a year but You'll also get to download the audio version of what I'm going through and um, also the um, the PDF version, which is, you know, really, really powerful. And uh, it's something, although I'm kind of going through it in these episodes, it's something that you can enjoy in your own time, in your own space. So um, feel free to download it. Won't cost you anything. And um nice empowering stuff to get you going if that's what you feel you need. So today's passage is, um, this is, um, I think it's um, day seven of the series, the uh, 30 Days of Empowerment series that I'm going through. Um, and, you know, I, I'm definitely trying to keep a track of the ones that I've covered. <laughs> so I believe this is day seven, if you have got a copy of it. But if not, don't worry, you can download it. I'll leave the details in the description for you. You know, I'm going to delve deeper into the soulful aspects of the Soul Whisper teachings in my own way, try and share them with you. How did I come across these teachings? They are um, insights that I have gained through my channel writing process. And I felt the need to share them because I felt they were important. And um, they cover an aspect of the soul that um, I kind of did not know existed. And I hope that by sharing them, you know, it will unveil something on your end and allow you 
to connect on a soulful level with your soul and to make progress in your life in the way I feel you should be or, you know, in the way I feel I have. And hopefully I can share it so that you can too. OK, so today's passage as I always say, it's an interesting one. <laughs> Some of you may laugh at that because I've said it almost every episode, but I always find them interesting because, you know, once I read them, there's more kind of insights and things like that I look forward to sharing with you. So, you know, stick with it and we'll see what we can uncover in this passage for today. And it says, from within, I find I am able to draw upon the strength I need to face all the greater challenges that lie ahead. With this strength, I am empowered. So I would say it's kind of quite a powerful affirmation. You know, it's a it's it's the sort of wording, you know, as if people don't know, um, all my work is written so that it can be kind of spoken to or to stir your soul. And from a soulful level, um, it says, I'm able to draw upon the strength I need to face all the greater challenges that lie ahead. So this is like um, wording um, on a soulful level to speak to the soul in a way to say, you know where your strength lies and that you are going to be able to draw on that strength from within, okay, to help you face the greater challenges that lie ahead. Now, let's talk a little bit about the challenges that you may be facing in your life. Now, for now, I don't know what those challenges are. Only you know what they are. Only you know how they are affecting you, how... They may be, you know, destroying you um, in a way that you did not anticipate. Some things may have just happened overnight. Some have been ongoing. They may relate to love, relationships. They may relate to your job. They may relate to, you know, the companionships that you're having between, you know, your family or your siblings or your, you know, your your lover or your, you know, partner. It, it, it could be so broad what those challenges in life are. They may be monetary challenges. They may be challenges between, you know, friends, colleagues, co-workers, um, the range of of challenges are insurmountable. We cannot, you know, possibly cover them all. But you know from your end of um, your life's kind of journey, you know from your end what the challenges you are facing. And maybe you have tried to tackle them on a kind of um, surface level, say, you know, this is what I teach quite often, you know, it's like, you're saying to your mind or you're looking at your life and you're saying, these are the challenges that I'm facing. You know, how am I going to overcome them? How am I going to work through them? How am I going to kind of find a way through all this adversity and all these things that are going on in your life? And you may feel like at the moment, gosh, there is no way. I can't find a way out of this mess. Or, you know, can somebody give me the answers that I need and that I'm looking for? And you may be saying, how am I going to get those answers? You know, if if I am looking for answers, you may have said to yourself from within, like, you know, to your mind, hey, how am I going to find answers to the situation I'm facing you know, how am I going to find solutions or resolutions? And your mind may have come back with a few blanks, as it often does. And as part of my teachings, I can explain why. Um, but, you know, what you may need to consider doing is asking these questions on a more soulful level. OK, and asking whether there are solutions, but not on the 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 scope of 
what are the physical solutions that I can do? We do want to get to that at some point, but you're having to go deeper. You're having to kind of delve a little bit deeper into the soulful connections that are there and they exist, but you just don't know how to tap into them. And all my teachings are going to show you how to tap into them, how to connect on a more deeper soulful level to get those answers, to get that type of information, which is not freely available. And what I mean by that is you are unique. You have your own situation and circumstances. What has happened throughout your life varies. What happened to you has not happened to me or vice versa. So you are unique. So the answers that you are looking for, the answers that you seek are unique to you. I can show you how to, you know, do the soul engagement process that I've spoken about previously, or if you're new, you're just learning about it. But I can show you and talk about that process. But ultimately, you have to learn to apply it to yourself and for your own life. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can show you, but I can't do it for you. And that is the type of ownership that you're going to need to take on to come or become empowered or to become kind of to own your situation, your destiny. OK, now I spoke about the mind not being able to reveal those answers to you. And the reason is, and those of you who've kind of journeyed along with me, you may know the answer. But the reason is simply because the mind is steeped in the physical. It only knows the physical. It only understands the physical of what is going on around you. That has benefits, okay? I wouldn't disregard it. The mind is very powerful and is a phenomenal manifester in the physical or in this physical realm. But for these types of answers, if you want to delve deeper, you can tap in on a soulful level to what I call, you know, I would say your inner partnership or your universal partnership, okay? And those kind of partnerships provide you with knowledge that is greater than what your mind can give you because it's only steeped in the physical. The, um, the universal partnership and the inner partnership help to provide knowledge for you that stems from your origins, you know, from the energy form that you were. And that knowledge and wisdom, as I've said, travels on a soulful level with you. That knowledge and wisdom is held in the inner sanctum of your soul. You know, your soul is the guardian or, you know, is the keeper of that knowledge and it's available it's ready to be shared with you all you have to do is to be willing to tap into it and you know be willing to say you want to tap into that knowledge and um you know it's key that you do that on a deeper level and this is what my teachings or my work um is about teaching you how to tap into that um, because once you can draw on that wisdom and knowledge, I refer to it as, as having a toolkit that you have that has journeyed with you from the energy form that you were into your physical form. That toolkit, you know, the soul is the custodian of that knowledge and you want to befriend your soul. You want to partner up with it. You want it to be close to you so it can always reveal that knowledge to you and then you can then begin to reveal that knowledge to your mind okay and I've spoken previously about you know the inner you um, you know which is your higher self connecting on a soulful level and being willing to kind of draw in what I call the physical partnership with your mind and body and sharing this knowledge with your mind and body. Because once the mind becomes aware of this knowledge, 
it can make powerful things happen to you in a positive way. Do you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it once the mind becomes aware of that knowledge, then it can say, aha, I understand what you need to do to overcome the challenges or the greater challenges that lie ahead of you. I now know what I can do to help you overcome them because you've shared this knowledge and information with me. And now that I know it, I know how I can get you out of it, even in the physical realm or, you know, as you are now. And then you will intuitively begin to get insight, begin to get ideas, begin to find solutions to the challenges that are confronting you. And we, you know, we spoke about all of the challenges that, that could be facing you um, as you're watching or you're listening. And those challenges can be overcome, even if you feel as if there is no hope or there is nothing you can do. Seriously, do not think like that. You know, or through what I've been teaching in the previous episodes and even today, you know that there is another level of knowledge and wisdom that you can tap into. You know, I'm not saying it's, you know, unavailable. It's there. You just need to be aware of it and say, yeah, I want to tap into that knowledge and wisdom. You know, show me how. <laughs> and I'll say, yeah, I've been showing people how, you know, through this video series of Get Inspired, Stay Inspired. I've been showing people how you know, um, in my books, in my writings, in, you know, in everything I do, basically, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just have to be willing to say, ah, oh, I want to find out about that, or I, I need to know more, and, and, and you will, honestly. And throughout the series, I mean, it's been not easy to kind of share all of it because, you know, it, it's all contained in, 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 in my book, in my works. But if you want a quick snapshot of the soul engagement process, um, you can get any of the Soulful Pathway series books and it's in there. Um, in the Soul Whisperer, it's in there in a lot more detail, but it's kind of something you have to find your way. So the good news is, is I have or I am in the process of writing a more simplified version and that will give you all you need with regards to the soul engagement process. So that'll be coming out soon, probably later, you know, in a few months time, because I'm, I'm almost at the end of that, you know, simplified version. But what I have done is I have been doing an audio um, that talks you through the soul engagement process and the mind engagement process, because with the soul engagement process, it allows you to tap into that knowledge and wisdom and it shows you how to share that knowledge and wisdom with your mind. And so it's 10 secret steps to soul engagement and 10 secret steps to mind engagement. Now, I've done an audio for that. I am editing through it. It will be in the description, no doubt, by the time you get to view this video. Um, it's been a long process, but it's almost done. Um, if you don't find it, in the description, um, check out an episode or two after that and you will find it. Um, I think it will be downloadable and available for that, for you know, by that time, because I kind of synchronized that information coming out with a simplified version of my book where I realized I needed to put all these steps in place to help, you know, readers or listeners really lock on or sink into this process of soul engagement where I want you as part of the Soul Whisper teachings to understand the power you can have um, and what it can do for you if you can do those kind of engagement process on a soulful level and then share that physically with your mind and then the mind will help you manifest in the physical what it is you need to do, how you need to turn the corner, you know, what actions do you need to take? What are the processes that may be required of you 
you know, to, to kind of um, overcome the challenges, you know, what will you be willing to do to sort the situation out? You know, have you been, are there areas of your life where, you know, you've been shy or you've been, you feel anxious or, you know, you know, you don't feel that you have the tools or the capability to overcome a particular challenge or you are you holding yourself back? Are you sabotaging yourself? These are the little things that, you know, kind of go on in our lives between us. But, you know, they must not define you. Do you know what I mean? They don't need to define you now and how you can progress or the person you can become as part of you know um an unfolding journey um in your progression in life those things don't need to define you they can hold you back you know fear is a major one um it comes up a lot in my work and you know fear is a major one that might be holding you back sometimes you're your own worst enemy you're holding yourself back you know you shouldn't but you can't help it. You know, there's certain things that you know you should be doing, but you can't because you, you, you're holding yourself back or you become too fearful to do them. Um, and, you know, breaking through these kind of barriers, um, you know, on a physical level can be supported by the knowledge and wisdom you're going to gain on a soulful level. Um, I know it's hard to kind of conceptualize when I'm talking about it but you will understand the process more and more once you choose to learn it once you choose to understand it do you know what I'm saying and if I can talk a little bit about the soul whisper teachings they don't conflict with anything that you believe in or any kind of um, greater power or knowledge that you might hold dear um, they support things from a soulful level so whatever you your belief systems are or whatever you believe in or are part of your belief systems this can this knowledge that I'm sharing can support that um, it doesn't kind of make you say listen if you want to understand the soul whisper teachings, you can't understand or engage in anything else. It's not like that. It's it's uh, it's it's just knowledge and information to support you in what you wish to do. But it comes from a soulful place. And, you know, I can only share it from a soulful place because that's where my writings kind of originate. But everything I talk about is really targeted at your soul. So, you know, you may say, hang on a minute, I'm reading it. That's my mind. You're saying it to me. That's my mind. Um, if you want to view it that way, you can. But if you can see things on a deeper level, I will. I do it. I will and I do show you how to do that but you know it's a kind of a conscious decision within yourself that you say you know what I'm going to be open to learning something new I'm going to be open to new knowledge or you know new thought so that it's something I can perhaps incorporate in my own way in in you know my own life um, and when I say my own, I mean in your life, because I don't know what you've been through. I don't know the circumstances that have you challenged. And only you know that. And sometimes no one else knows except you. The pain you feel, the hurt you feel, the anger, the resentment, all of those feelings could be pent up inside you. Nobody may know that they exist because you may be hiding them within yourself. But what is powerful is you acknowledging it and you saying, you know, these these feelings, anger, resentment, hurt, pain, they don't define me. I can push on. I can find a way to overcome the challenges I'm facing. If they're financial challenges, there is always a way to overcome those type of challenges which are steeped very much in the physical realm 
you know, but you've got to remember money is also a form of energy. So on an energy level, if you're doing soulful work on an energy level, it can also support you to sort of on a on on the mind engagement side, support you to kind of let the mind know what changes you want and what you want to kind of happen in your life. And the mind can help work on that side of things for you. And once you have everything working together in harmony, or as my book says, in partnership, you know, then things are going to change. Things are going to unfold in a different way. The challenges that you have or are the mainstay of your life will begin to dissipate, you know, and you say, oh, I don't I don't think they can. Yes, they can. When you're doing inner work, the external starts to change naturally for you because your inner power, your empowerment from within has blossomed. It has grown. It has strengthened you in the passage talks about this strength and you know that's why I'm kind of um, talking about tapping into those aspects of your nature so you can feel strengthened and you know feel like I can draw on this strength because I know it exists if you don't know it exists then you can't draw on it do you know what I'm saying? If you know it exists, you can use it to support you. You can use it to guide you. You can use it to take intuitive knowledge and wisdom and act on it by sharing it with the physical mind. You know, your higher self has a greater power than your physical mind. Your higher self has that affinity or soulful connection already. You just got to spark it up, okay? Once it's sparked, your higher self will then direct the physical mind so that the physical mind gets instruction about what to do. The difference is you're not appealing to your mind to give you the answers that it does not know. You're appealing to your soul on a soulful level to give you the answers it knows everything about but you just haven't realized you could tap into it or use it in any way but it exists it is there for you it is part of your destiny the soul is the custodian of this knowledge it has this knowledge and believe you me it doesn't want to hold on to this knowledge it wants to share this knowledge with you. It wants to allow you to know this knowledge now, not when you're, you know, six feet under, to know it now so that you can apply it in your life and you can make the changes you need to allow it to work for you, to allow things to work in your favour, to allow things to turn a corner for you, to allow those greater challenges that lie ahead to kind of dwindle away, to get rid of them so they no longer exist and they and you are no longer bound to them um, in the way that you were before you un before you kind of did not know this type of information that I'm sharing with you now. So you can feel strengthened and empowered on a soulful level. And that strength and empowerment on a soulful level is enduring. It's not fleeting. I've said it before. Once you get empowered on this level, it's like, you know, you become so strengthened. I wouldn't say maybe invincible, but it's almost like that. You become invincible because on a soulful level, you've just built up such strength you know, to overcome the relationship issues, to overcome the challenges maybe with your job or your work or, you know, finding work. If you've lost work, finding work. If you've lost love, finding love. You know, if you have lost friendships or, 
you know, fallen out with family or siblings, all of that can be rebuilt because you're strengthened now to rebuild that. You're strengthened to overcome whatever it is that is a, a sort of a thorn in your side or preventing you from attaining the success or attaining, you know, the, the kind of the goals that you want to attain in your life and, you know, to go forward with immense power and strength. OK, so just to kind of recap on this passage, you know, I hope that I've covered the important things about drawing on the strength you need to face the greater challenges ahead. Now you know where this strength exists. Now you know where you can draw upon it. Now you know you are empowered. And you can say, you can affirm to yourself, I am empowered. I am empowered. And, you know, you can say the whole passage is for day seven or even the, just the last bit. I am empowered. If you wake up in the morning, you can say, I am empowered. You know, and you can begin, you know, even though I've given you the 10 steps to soul engagement, you know, you can kind of learn the steps yourself um, and, and learn the kind of the, the chunk of each step um, so that you can fast track yourself with everything you need to do. And then vice versa with the, the 10 steps to mind engagement. All those steps are just guidelines you can take the best out of them to work in your favour or work for you because only you know the challenges that are consuming you or confronting you. And once you know those challenges, then you will know how to deal with them in your own way. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular episode. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button for me, stick a thumbs up, whatever, and, you know, share it if you feel other people may benefit from it. Um, you know, I know the soulful stuff is not an easy subject to kind of talk about. Um, that's why I'm trying to simplify so much of it for you. But if you feel someone could benefit from this video, let them have it, share it with them. And, you know, you never know. Um, it might end up being a benefit to them as well. So um, they might also become a part of this little family we've got going with this Get Inspired, Stay Inspired series. And the more, the merrier. Um, as I said, if the channel can grow, I look forward to bringing more of my, you know, of, of my my teachings, I guess, to share with you, bringing more of myself, creating more material to help others and so on and so forth. This is just the first step, OK, in terms of starting the series, but I'm keeping it going and it's growing for your benefit. OK, and what I benefit from is sharing um, that soulful part of myself where all this knowledge and information has come from and sharing it you know with with you um so it can help you in some way i'm sure it will and i hope you can benefit from it as well for those of you who wish to take it that extra step and wish to support me as a patron please feel free to do so. The details are in the description, the link and everything. And if you feel you wish to support me, then I'd love to have your support. And if you can't at this moment in time, that doesn't matter. Just being here, supporting me in a way that you can engage or give your comments or whatever. For now, that's fantastic. And it's more than welcome in any way or shape or form that you want to offer your support. At the end of the day, you know what you want to do. And if I can be a part of it and help you, then that's a brilliant kind of balance to have. So for now, thanks so much for being part of my journey. Thanks so much for listening and joining me. Everything will be in the description. Don't forget to leave your comments for me. I look forward to, you know, sharing um, my insight and wisdom with you. If you do make comments, um, you know, hopefully nice ones. <laughs> I look forward to getting back to you on those as well. So I'm going to love and leave you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week ahead. Stay strong 
and above all, stay empowered. Look forward to seeing you soon on the next episode, okay? Take care. Bye.